They haven't lost since December 30th against Siena. Meanwhile, Iona looking to get back in the win column. We're underway here from New Rochelle. Thing. An offensive board by Ike Noweke. Belonk, the second chance. She has 10 seconds to shoot. Drives, baseline J, cash. Off for the Bobcats so far. Davis from the free throw line, spins in and out, but Danish Jenkins is right there. Off to Belonk, he's feeling it. And why not? Matt Belonk, nice bounce pass, feed in the reverse, layup is good. Off the window from Ty Mushin. That He's so athletic, can really get up in the air, but again, he was about to perimeter. A corner three, goes down this time. Belonk, a nice feed to Otieno, fakes the defenders, and gets the second chance to go. Can he make it two for two? Yes, he can with the lefty. Seconds to shoot, Clayton to beat the shot clock. He got it to go, and boy, did Iona need that. Tyrese Williams, here come the Gales. In traffic, ooh, that was athletic. What a move by Walter Clayton. Mr. Clayton Jr. did not play when Quinnipiac won by 23 three weeks ago, and Matt Belonk is on fire, Kevin. 10 points in eight minutes so far. Yeah, belongs. Jenkins on the other side. Pumps the brakes. Back to uh, Jean Luis. It's short. Junior Joseph is right there for the put. Now, Belonk drives to the rim. Off the window, too strong. The offensive put back, though. You know, practices him making those shots. But the good news is if he can make free throws. Jones, 94 feet. Will they count it? But they're resting a little bit. Parker Weiss cashes in that three this of the afternoon. Here come the Gales. Jenkins pulls up for another three. He got it to go. Screen from Louis Courtright. Give and go. Wide open three. And that's a big one. Two in white for Iona. Again, the injury plague has hit this team hard as Jenkins gets three. Can't fall after a few doinks off the iron, but the offensive put back by I. So let's see uh, when he gets back into the contest if he's going to get going again. Courtright, the easy take it. And remember, Nelly Jr. Joseph, the Mac preseason. Got to think about letting him get a third one. That's fair. Down by 16 with 2.11 to go in this first half. Oh, that's a deep three, and he gets it to go. Yeah, he's going to have to step up and help his teammate score. On the other side, punch and Extended his arm a little bit. Double bonus time, two free throws for Desi Jones, and you mentioned a couple. The lead scorer. So if he starts to pick it up, Iona's going to really have to. Number of the Quinnipiac Bobcats, when there's a six in a row in Mac play. Cruz Davis has scored eight in a row now. Check three. Oh my goodness! Dead game. Clayton for three. Kaboom! Nine in a row. The lead is now eight. It was as many as 18. Desi Jones right where he left off. They have seven already. Clayton inside. Junior Joseph the layup. Close to the base. Ziona, this sold out crowd ready to explode. Clayton coast to coast. The lead is now seven. I was asking for him at seconds to shoot as Desi Jones finishes the layup. Well, you know he can score. Mid-range J. Connects. The entry feed to Nelly Jr. Joseph. Back to the freshman Davis. He's got it! And it's a three-point work. Faces the double team. Righty hook shot, good. Two-point game. Once again, Shire for three in the lead. He's got it! And Iona leads the way. Block. Brooke Shire, screen from Jr. Joseph. Eight seconds to shoot. Contested jumper is good. Brookshire again. How about two straight floaters? Jenkins, a righty floater. Jenkins, corner, back to Shima with the slam. Saying, don't count me out. And that's what they need. They need someone to step up here. On the other end, Jenkins for three. No, but it goes right back to Brookshire. Junior Joseph okay, comes back in. Noweke did a good job um, in the first half on the boards, and they're going to need him now. With Nelly out, you know, maybe there's an opportunity for him to have a present. Boyd, three of three at the line today, and he hits the front. 99% free throw shooter. Finishes the first. Now it's back to the defensive end for the Bobcats. 
Clayton, nice feed. Junior Joseph and one. But he just went to the basket and scored. Shoot. That's the first. I got to go back to that zone. And he gets it. My kind of guy. Now 48 of 49. When you get there, it's, it's called a free throw for a reason. Court right. Long two, left side, gets it. That's a big time shot. Jones can't get a foul here from the back. Jenkins, hands off. John Luis, the You know, you are way out of the coach. Possession game again. He hits the first. It's six of six. To um, John Luis is capable of shooting the three as well, but, you know, do you want to take your chances by playing zone? A rare. Have on your team someone you know is going to step up and knock free throws. Need a the eye on the pressure. Portwright gets the second to go, so it's a five point lead. Each team ball. So one more for Clayton. First free throw good. Against Mount St. Mary's. And a three game homestand begins. Under 30 seconds to go. Portwright, a deep three, cashes. John Luis, good night. <laughs> Someone that could get up that high, ferocious dunk. Get these two free throws. Some want him to miss, some want him to make both. A huge swing coming up. He makes the first. Devin, can he make it a six point deficit? He does. Desi Jones, Iona moves to seven and three in conference play. Quinnipiac moves to six and four in the MAC. And final words here, Kevin, both of these teams will certainly play.